vehicles on it, and using it as one of our two trade-in vehicles, we would be able to add the four-wheel drive vehicle without increasing the total number of vehicles to our fleet. We have been operating with a total of nine vehicles, three of which are used for senior transports for the past several years. On the morning of town meeting, the Board of Selectmen held its pre-town meeting session with the Budget Committee in the Selectmen's office. Present at this meeting were all three Selectmen and several members of the Budget Committee. During this meeting, the Budget Committee went into one of the other offices and the three Selectmen discussed some upcoming issues that would be discussed at town meeting. During that meeting, I mentioned to the other two selectmen that I was going to amend the police department budget by raising, five, uh, raising it by $5,900 to include the purchase of the four-wheel drive vehicle. Chairman Boyle asked me if I had budgeted for Sergeant Baldwin's medical insurance, and I replied that I had. The cost of this medical insurance was $11,000. This was for a two-member plan. This figure was arrived prior to finding out that Sergeant Baldwin could only obtain a single or family plan. Sergeant Baldwin opted to take the single plan, leaving $5,500 in the insurance line. The cost of all leased vehicles came to $30,951. We had budgeted $28,953, leaving an over expenditure of $1,998. It was determined that since there was a surplus of $5,500 in my insurance line, there was no need to increase the bottom line of the police department budget, bottom line of the police department budget by the $5,900. I again stated that I was prepared to request that my budget be amended on town meeting floor to include the additional $5,900. Again, Chairman Boyle stated that since I had the funds in my budget, it was best not to request the additional funds. At that time, I asked Selectman Childs if he was in agreement with this course of action, and he said he was. Were the, were the other board members in agreement on taking the additional $1,998 from my insurance line, we decided not to request the additional funds to be added to my budget. The discussion pertaining to purchasing this four-wheel drive vehicle was discussed at many Selectman's public meetings and also at several Budget Committee public meetings. Chairman Boyle was a strong advocate in obtaining the four-wheel drive vehicle for the police department. Selectman Childs and members of the budget committee also agreed that the police department needed to purchase this vehicle. The overall question was, is the police department going to increase the total size of its fleet? By taking one vehicle out of rotation and designating it for police details and taking away the detective's vehicle, we would not be increasing the size of the fleet. And looking back at the events that took place in purchasing this uh, four-wheel drive vehicle, it is now clear that there was a misunderstanding on the discussion that took place on the morning of town meeting. I was under the impression that by obtaining the other two selectmen's approval not to add the extra funds to my budget and to take the funds out of the operating budget, there was no need to proceed any further on the issue. Again, in looking back, I could have requested the board at their next public meeting to take an official vote on the purchase of this vehicle, but I did not believe that this would be necessary since the other two members were in agreement on acquiring this vehicle. Let me make it perfectly clear that there was never intent on my part to bypass the system in acquiring this vehicle. There was ample time to take a vote on this issue, but again, it was my understanding that since the other two select were in favor of purchasing this vehicle, and that we were taking three vehicles out of our fleet and replacing three vehicles, and that there were funds in the police department's budget to cover the additional $1,998, that no further action was needed. I hope that this answers your concerns on how the lease of the four-wheel drive, four drive vehicle came about. If you have any other questions, have your liaison get in touch with the selectman's liaison, <coughs> or I have them get in touch with me, and I'll be more than glad to come to a meeting. We thank you. We'll take that course of action. Thank you. Excuse me one second. Drop it. Um, I have no wish to address the chief in this, and I have no wish to discuss police matters. I have a wish to discuss budgetary matters with the Board of Selectmen. This is with neither pride nor prejudice. The chief did make a request of the Budget Committee. Uh, the Budget Committee has elected me to serve as their chair, and apparently without... Uh, waiting for agreement has determined that we will proceed along those lines. One question that was arisen from this was how, and the chief just addressed how it came about without a vote. The problem with this gentleman is that this is not simply a procedural error. Under chapter two of the state, of the state RSAs, 
Chapter 32 considers all municipal budget law. There are six different uh, subheadings under there that specifically state that all town monies can only be expended by a vote of the board, of, a majority vote of the board of selectmen. And Mr. Borer, DRA, has reiterated that. He told me that there were only three ways in New Hampshire that town monies can be expended. One was by a Warren article. Two was by a majority vote of the selectmen, and the third was if, in the case of special trust funds or uh, uh, capital reserves, if there is a trustee over those, he has the right to expend from those. Um, so the problem with this isn't simply procedural, it's that state law has not been followed. All right. I'm going to tell you right now, Mr. ACI, not to get out of hand, but I can see where you're going. You're looking for another lawsuit. We are not going to get into any petition, any uh, Chief. possible litigation. Excuse me. No, I'm getting getting sick and tired of the way this is going, and I'm doing everything I can to sit here and smile and be nice and be polite. With all due respect to the board of excuse selectmen, excuse me, Mr. ACI, but I can see the way it's going is that this is not turning out to be a pleasant conversation. And if Mr. ACI has any questions or any issues that he wishes to pursue any further, then I would suggest that he do so, and that would be the end of it. With all due respect to the Board of Selectmen, this is not personal. This is not about lawsuit. This is about the budgetary law in the state of New Hampshire. I am charged by the then people put who it elected in writing, me. Mr. ACI, and send it to the Board of Selectmen. Excuse me. I am charged I with finding this out. out in Mr. ACI, you're out of order. I'm asking you, please, to refrain from going any further with any more discussion on this issue. We are done discussing this. Gentlemen, this is state law. Mr. ACI, do I have to have somebody come in here? And no, ask you don't, sir. Then please leave the podium. We are all done discussing your issues. That Thank you, you very much for your time. Department. Everybody knows that the reason why you are here is to try and embarrass me and the board. But it will not continue Gentlemen, any further as long as I'm chairman. The reason Thank why I'm here much. is my job under state law is to review appropriations that have made, been made.